Hey guys, Ellen Woolbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. Happy Tuesday, if you're here in Australia, happy Monday for the rest of the world. Um, I had a bit of a play, a very excited play, with pigment sprinkles yesterday. Hey Miss Leone, and I want to make a card with this piece. The other piece I've already used, and it's going to... Um, be my tutorial bundle card for February so if you want to um, see that card that I've made with pigment sprinkles and the music from the heart stamp set you'll have to purchase or earn the tutorial bundle that I am currently doing with Stamping Sisters but today this is the piece that didn't make the cut um, not that there's anything wrong with it it just wasn't working to what was in my head so i thought i would use this piece up straight away so it doesn't go into my use it up box and have a play with the same products and do a different card so if welcome to everyone who's joining please say hi even if you're watching on the replay and if you have not joined me before welcome thank you for joining and be sure if you are here on Facebook to follow me and get notifications of when I go live. And if you're watching me sped up on a YouTube replay, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell to get notifications. Because I know quite often I watch YouTube videos sped up as I'm doing something else because that's okay but I do like to show uh, my card making from as much from beginning to end without um, missing too many steps because it's how we craft edited is sometimes just yeah it doesn't quite work in my brain and I go no 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 how did you get to point A to point B so I like to show real-time crafting so I have the music from the heart stamp set which is out in the current January to June mini catalog. So this is current now. Hey Margie, hey Rose. Um, and I want to use this gorgeous piano here um, and the piano, the keys. I want to use the keys. So I've sort of, sort of know what I want to play with. Um, and as I said, I have my pre-pigment sprinkled piece and I will tell you how I did that on the way. Um, I do have my pigment sprinkles out because I may use them to colour the piano. Oh, no problems, Donna. No problems. Thank you for popping in and saying hi. Did I say good morning? Oh, sorry. Good afternoon afternoon <laughs> it's been a busy morning and there may not have been much sleep involved last night so I really do feel like I need about five more hours sleep and we'd be happy the body did not want to go to sleep last night which was very sad but let's get us all flicked over and get playing hey Sherry thanks for joining so hopefully oh wait make anyone seasick doing this and as usual I only oh sorry guys I only have a vague idea of what I am doing and I haven't pre-prepared too much so let me see how this goes I need to get up my video I you can see everything well I'm in the right way just let me uh -huh. it is afternoon it is oh hang on it is 1209 New South Wales time anyway okay I'll go turn off my light get up my video and we will see how we go we have no fairy visitor hey margin our fairy visitor miss louisa may soon enough pop in okay i kind of sort of have my second screen up let's see how we go here kind of sort of i say and i'm a bit no it's straight enough it's all good 
So these are our pigment sprinkles. Hey Susan, thanks for joining. And these are basically, it's pigment powder. Now the colours on the bottom do not reflect the colours that they come out. That's the first thing to know. Um, but these basically, you, I tap them on. Not that this is the colour I used. This is Bermuda Bay. This is Bermuda Bay, Gorgeous Grape and Miller Mambo. So you tap them on and then I literally took my spray bottle and sprayed it. And this is on shimmery white cardstock because if you do this kind of technique on our whisper white cardstocks, they're not made for it. So you need to do it on watercolour paper or on the shimmery white or you can make a paint and paint it on. So you've got a little lid here that you can pop up and this and the powder comes out from there. And a very little goes an extremely long way. Hello, hello, Miss Karen. Oh, yay. I'm so glad you're making it on your lunch break, Julie, even if it's just for a little bit. So I literally sprinkled, 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 sprayed and let it dry. I think I did do some sopping up with the paper towel, uh, but that's basically what I did. And the sprinkle or the pigment powders are made up of different colours and you can sort of see that here on this corner. Okay, so I think that's all I had to tell you about the sprinkles. So... What I'm going to do now is get into stamping. So I'm going to start stamping these two images and then see how I go. So I'm looking and what I want to do is grab my circle punch while I've got this off and just see which circle it may fit in. So this is what I do. That is actually a really nice size. So that's our two and a quarter circle punch. So I'll pop that there. And I think just in case I do do some more colouring, I am going to stamp it onto shimmery white again. Hello, Miss Jamie Ramsey. Are you home yet or are you still gallivanting away? Okay, let's see. They're not big enough, so I shall put it on this piece. I'll wait for Jamie to reply. And while I'm here, I'm also going to put the piano keys on a block. Actually, I might keep this out and pop that right there home now oh it's god you guys have birthdays fairly close it's david's birthday on sunday actually your guys birthdays are closer than mine now i haven't used these stamps before and what i do i just sort of rub them along my hand and it just gets rid of any or i just rub my finger over it it just gets any rid of any of the manufacturing bits and bobs and it does just help the ink um, adhere a little easier to the stamp okay so memento tuxedo black ink I'm using it because I don't know what color medium I'm going to be using so what I thought was, if I use this, I can use blends or actually stamp it off on your scrap piece of paper first. So then we're not wasting the good paper. Lucky that was only on that stamped lovely. But lucky that ink was only on the tape and I can wipe it off. Because I've got a brand new mat, I've got to keep it clean. Ordered some bar glasses and supplies for Gus's birthday. 
I had an email and complained. Finally got the shipping notification. No! That's, um, that's not good, Jamie. I, oh, I paid for David's birthday present. I paid Amazon for expedited, um, for expedited shipping. And I got it in four days from America. I was so annoyed that I paid like a fair bit of extra money because his birthday's on Sunday, as I said. I paid like all this extra money and I got it like more than 10 days before his birthday. Oh, I was so annoyed. So annoyed. But then, would I have got it if I hadn't have paid for the shipping? Like, you never know, but really. Okay, so I won't need to do anything with the piano keys because piano keys are black and white. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Jamie, exactly. Did on the website, did they have an... A, a, how long their shipping is or they were on holidays or anything like that okay so what i'm thinking is a i am thinking of getting out my pigment sprinkles so i'm thinking a melamambo heart and a Bermuda Bay piano just for Rose because I know Rose's favourite colour is Bermuda Bay. One to two days, yeah, that isn't good enough. So not good enough. Sorry, I'm just having to refresh my screen because my screen keeps on um, freezing. Yeah, no, they never forget to take your money, do they? Uh, now, what can I mix this up on? Um, 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 um. I'm just wondering if Lachlan has a little paint palette that I can procure to mix. Paint palette, mind you, this was mine first. I just gave it to me. Um, no, I found mine. Yeah, I know, Jamie. It just didn't work for yesterday's project. So I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of sprinkles. Not a problem, Leone. You have a happy day as well. We need to catch up. Miss you. Okay, so literally, that is enough. And that literally just fell out. I did not have to do anything. I've been known to mix on stamp covers. I know, but I thought I'd put my hand on this fairly easily, which I did. Okay, so. The Bermuda Bay. Now, they call it Bermuda Bay. I don't think... And it comes out actually really purple. I'll show you once I um, once I pop this lid back on. Because you don't need pigment sprinkles everywhere. So it's actually really dark like aubergine. But I'll show you. And I'll take this away. And I will pop my scrap of paper under it. Okay. So when I add... You can see that changes colour straight away. So that one went immediately blue and this one goes an orangey pink. Although I reckon I added way too much water. So I'm just going to grab my aqua painter. Now I am going to colour on this. But what I might do is just use these sprinkles up here and just roughly colour this in so I'm not being 
particular, but I am keeping in the colours that are on are already on the sheet that we've got. So I love that. Might get some paper towel just to clean off my brush. Okay, that's that. Okay, and now I'm going to grab this and I'm literally just going to do a wash because I can always add another layer. And I am going to go over the keys because I already have. Just try not to go too close. Now if I go out of the lines, that is totally okay. So you can see the difference here, that mixing it directly with water, you the sprinkles totally dissolve. Where, on, where I've put the sprinkles on the card and then sprayed, you sort of get more variation of colour. So yeah, I am going to colour this bit in too. Now, I am pretty happy with that, and I have used, like, I have so much colour left over. So much colour. Well, better. Do you know what? I got the paper towel out, and I'm not even using it. Because I sort of do have an empty well here. thinking I may want to just put a bit of shade... I'm, I'm also mindful of how much colour I'm adding. Yeah, I just, just I don't want to peel the paper as such. Okay. So just get that out and clean. And then I just want to, now that is way too wet. So I just want to add some darkness and shadow in these spots just a touch because they will be the darker spots okay leave it leave it leave it hands away from the watercoloring so you can see that was nice nice and simple <laughs> that is actually probably a good way to do it, Jamie. <gasps> where do I put this where I don't actually get it everywhere? How about the other end of the room? Okay, it's not going to get knocked on anything. No, you never, with these ones, you never know what you're going to get. With this one, yeah, you do. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, take away, no. So then I'm assuming my sentiment is going to be stamped in, like, uh, stamped in the purple. I know, pigment sprinkles are so cool. Do you know what? I stamped this way too close to the middle. That I can't. So, I'm going to grab out our mini trimmer. So, those of you that sign up at the moment as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator can get this as part of the celebration special. So, I do have a team and we are called the Wicked Woodies. And we have so much fun at our team meetings. And share lots of things on my group um have training available i don't know i was thinking of actually leaving it in there like lachlan has with his jay so i'm not quite sure okay i'm just cutting this out to make the whole process of cutting a lot easier so this already shimmers so I don't need to do anything 
with it. So all I do is open and close the scissors and I actually physically move the piece of paper rather than moving my scissors and you get a much smoother um, cut line. Now I'm going to say that my cut lines aren't necessarily the smoothest but you do get a fairly smooth cut line moving the paper and not the scissors so that's my tip for the day I don't think I'm going to use the stave which is the music lines and I don't think I'm going to I may I may um, use a couple of the music notes just coming up I'm not sure Bye, Julie. Enjoy your rest of your day at work. Sorry, couldn't cut and talk. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Actually, I did a call out when I, back in the day, when I had enough team members to, um, to have a name, I did a call out to my girls that were already signed up, and she is still a demonstrator with me. She's uh, celebrating her five years this month, actually. Um, oh, do you know what I almost want to do? A really light purple wash, roughly, on the background. I'm going to do it. I'm going to, going to do it. It's a bit too white for my liking. It's just way too stark. Hey Pamela, if I didn't say hello to you, I don't think I did. Yeah, so I sort of did call out and say, said, girls, what do you reckon? What what team what team name? Because you know, I was a bit stuck and she goes, Well, we're all a little wicked and you're a Woodbridge and that's how it went. Okay, so I've just put the teeniest amount in the overspray there. Give it a mix. Oh, beautiful. That is lovely. So you can see I'm not going all the way to the piano, Miss Louisa. Come on, come around. Good girl. I've sort of got a chair in the doorway, which is in her way down. Okay, this is like so weak. This is just perfect. So just along the edge. Just scribbling it on. This is almost like a... It's, I don't know, it's almost a flirty flamingo. That's better. It's not so stark now. That's perfect. And I've still got a fair bit of purple in um, the brush. So I just squeeze the water that's in the, um, in the pen. And then I just wipe it out. And you can see all that staining is now gone. Okay. Very happy with that. Stain this. I'm just moving my very messy things so that's one way you can use the pigment sprinkles without it flying everywhere over your desk because even before I just went live I still even found stray pigment sprinkles on my desk because that's what happens okay just seeing what way I sort of want this to sit. I don't know. That's still quite wet too. I may have to... Uh, which way do I want it to sit? 
Oh, I like that. I like doing it. Look, I'm making a landscape card, Mum. Making a landscape card. Yep, absolutely. So, so, so easy to do. So, sentiment. Just a note. Happy birthday. Ooh. Your music to my heart. Just a note of thanks. Now, if I put just a note of thanks, that will be a really nice long sentiment to, to go along. I think that'll work nice. But I like the fact that you can have them as one long sentiment or you can put, stack them on top of each other. Miss Contrary, aren't you Missy Moo? What do you want to do? Do you want to leave me or do you want to stay? What do you want to do? Do you want to stay? Down. Sorry, she needs some love. Um, yeah, I know, right, Jay? I know. And then I'm wearing white and I don't intend on crafting and I end up crafting and go, <gasps> put on an apron. Okay, um, I still have this piece which I can use so this was just half a sheet of A4 ah, stamp sets over here isn't it silly me silly me so who has pigment sprinkles and do you know what I reckon? I'm going to check the prices, but I reckon if you bought the pigment sprinkles and you bought the stamp set and you bought like a pack of um, this paper, you'd go pretty close to your $90 and be able to earn a um, free celebration set. Uh, not the Stampin' Up! ones. Oh, it's same, same, but different colours. It's just we've matched our ones to all fairly well. The only one I have a problem with is the um, Bermuda Bay. I think the Bermuda Bay ink is just... Um, the Bermuda Bay ink is just more blue than what this sprinkles is but hey that's just me and because i'm being super lazy here i'm going to just use my water spray bottle and now the kids are requesting lunch so i have literally just wet part of my microfiber cloth and i'm just going to wipe this over so that's wiped off dry it off and it's all good to put back because I didn't pre-think and um, wet my chamois. Ah, good. I'm glad. Look, I don't use them all the time. But they're great to get that burst of colour. I really do like the burst of colour. And this card will be great for one of Lachlan's music teachers. I think they'll really appreciate it because he's got his music teacher at school. He's got his school band teacher at school and he's got two different conductors of bands. So that's why I bought this set because we have so many musical. <gasps> yes, I love that so many musical people in our lives that it was just a set that was going to work perfectly do you think i can find that wet spot again here on this cloth ah, yes found it okay and dry and we're all good i will trim that out and i think this can stay white Okay, apparently there's too much coffee everywhere. Um, I, yeah, Mama is busy. Daddy is working from home. And I think pizza just got put in the oven. 
and mama doesn't eat pizza so that's okay and owen yeah owen's chilling on the lounge because he is currently in a bit of a fragile state he's um got he's got plaster on his legs but he's not got broken legs it's uh for a condition that we all have and um, we're just trying to do some um, stretching with casts. So he just got those casts changed this morning. So he's chilling on the lounge with one purple leg. And uh, yeah, he's okay. He was just a bit frustrated last week and just not in a fantabulous mood and needed his mum and his dad to just hang with him and we watched some Monty Python which was very very cool so what I'm thinking is cutting this on an angle like that and I want to chop well actually I'll want to tuck this under. Whoa, that only that only just fits, but that's okay. But what oh, I will need to straighten up the end, and I'll tell you why. I think I just want to shave. Okay, so what I can do is really lift this up so I can get my finger under there maybe yeah cursor having fat fingers I mean they're skinnier than what they were but oh, do you know what it's fairly centered I'm just going to leave it, otherwise I'm just, my hands aren't doing their best job today, otherwise I'm going to get really frustrated. It is so sharp and it's super cute and it's small, so if I'm craft launching on my desk and I grab this just to do a little snip and I got that straight, if I use any pairs of scissors I'm likely not to get it nice and sharp and straight so yeah I love this and as I said the only way to get it is to sign up as a demonstrator and you do have your little um, silicon feet so it doesn't move I'm putting a fair bit of pressure on that you need to use a post-it to hold that's good Kathy but yeah do you know what? I can't be. CBF. CBF. So now what colour would I like to mat this in? Um, do you know what? If I put that down there and then I can put sort of this over the top-ish. Yeah, that works. Okay. So that is, does it feel cold? No, that's dry. So I'll put some dimensionals on this piece. Now I'm down to the edges of my dimensionals. So we'll just get a bit of these. Hey guys, do you remember that I'm on a live video? Right, we're just talking. You know, life goes on apparently. Yes, it really is satisfying. And the thing I try to do is use, oh, mummy may have to go cross in a second, is use this whole sheet up before I start on the next sheet. And look, I have one more piece to use that I will use while we're here. I will use that while... Mm. I 
do want a piece in the middle just because I've wet it so much. I am going over the top to... Um, I am going over the top. Okay, so what colour are we going to back this with? So I am just going to try all three colours and see what works best i really truly don't think bermuda bay will work but hey i've just got a piece here do you know what these colors match really well even though i think this is too green okay bermuda bay uh, where is my melon mambo no that's lovely lipstick that is Floaty Flamingo. Where is my Melamambo? Oh, staring me right in the face. Of course. Melon Mambo. Mm, yeah, no. No, 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 no. Bermuda Bay might actually be the colour, surprisingly. Or we might just do white. Ellen is probably thinking, oh God, she's here. No, I would never say that. Never, ever say that, Jenny. Okay, Jamie, I know that Bermuda Bay looks good. Yeah, but there's no Calypso Coral used in it. I know you like Calypso Coral, Rose, but I'm just showing the three colours that I have actually used. Ew, that also works really well, nice as well. But I do like the Bermuda Bay. Yeah, no, the Bermuda Bay. Okay, need to get a full piece of Bermuda Bay and make some card bases. Okay, trimmer. This in here and score. So I score at 15.8 and a touch. Just one score is all I need with this new amazing paper trimmer. Then at 10 and a half. And I like, I do all my cards like this, let's be honest. But especially when you turn these top fold cards into a side fold card it works really well for landscape cards is what i'm trying to say it works really really well hello miss deb oh it's snowing so we actually have some really mild summer weather this week it's rather refreshing isn't it jamie who lives not too far from me so I think it's eh, mid to high 20s at the moment. Yes, it's beautiful. And the amount of fires that we have in our or in our state has actually dropped because we're having this milder weather, we're able to not put them out, but manage them really, really uh, so much easier. Yeah, do you know what? Need to try this. I don't know that just white. Ooh. No. But do I do just white? Like do... Mm. I like... Mm. I'm thinking... Do I do a layer? I'm thinking I like the layer in between because then it shows not so much difference between those two colours. I think I'm going for a double matte as such. Yeah, we are getting, um, in New South Wales, we have been getting some light rain nothing too hectic which is sort of what we're all praying for that they, that after 
it being so dry and the fires that we then didn't get stupid amounts of rain and then get fallen down trees and all of that so yeah yeah I know Rose we know exactly how you guys are feeling because hey we've been there okay so that scrap I am using this as just a scrap of thick whisper white and then I will just slightly trim down the piece that I have here. So what I will do, I'll use my mini trimmer because I love it so. And I will go nine and a half centimetres. And... I am thinking I am taking some off this edge and you know what I am going to use this piece I just cut off as my guide and that is pretty much the amount maybe just a teeny touch more perfect Ah, I like that. Yes, pretty much. And I think at one point last week, Australia wide, there were like 400 fires. Like ridiculous. May have been a couple of weeks ago, but you know. It was ridiculous. So this piece is a little warped. So I am going to get one of my huge blocks and I'm going to add plenty of glue Don't put the lid back on Ellen, don't, don't, don't When I've lined that up just like so, I'm actually going to take both my big blocks and just pop that onto there. Put that scrap to the side, put my speaker back up, and I've got that. So, what I just want to do on here is because I can play with placement. Is I sort of like that one flat and what I sort of want to kind of do is weave this one up and down because you're already sort of getting that weave if that makes sense and what I can do I can support just a single under there I like that I do I like that a lot okay yep 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 okay so hopefully that has now been enough pressure ah, yes yes in a different state Ooh, oh, to the chemist, Jenny. You're hilarious. Okay, I have the new trimmer. Yes, it's great. The new trimmer is amazing. Oh, no, Rose, that's not good. Have you tried refreshing? Not Rose Desmond. Uh, not Rose MG, sorry. Other Rose. It's very hard when there are two Roses in the house. Okay, so I'm not skimping on the glue again. Okay, so I definitely want... Ah, see, I like that better just with that white mat. Okay. Yes. 
Yeah, and unfortunately the fires are creating their own weather systems, which is slightly scary um, that they are doing that. And yeah, it's just scary because they're creating... Sorry, I'm just popping that across. How's that looking now? That's looking good. I'm okay if I go over layers. And I'm okay if this ain't perfectly straight as well. Okay. Get bluing Ellen. I'm also thinking we need some bling. Because we've already got shimmer in the shimmery white paper. I know you can't see it, but trust me, it's there. It's a beautiful paper that does take water really really well like it does warp like any paper but it doesn't have the um it doesn't have very taken ah it's this one um it just doesn't have the texture of watercolor paper okay love that and look that sits beautifully straight so i think i'm going to put the tiny piece oh hey mimi thanks for joining okay get this closer to the edge because it was a kamikaze runaway okay this piece that now doesn't want to disengage so I want like this piece there I'm just having a looky see here do I want it slightly on oh, I like it on top so this is what Yep, that'll work nicely. So, take this piece off. I'm only putting glue in a few places. So, where I want the glue is here on the edge. And here on the bottom. Because this is going to be raised, then this is going to be on the bottom, then this is raised. So we can create or re take the backing. Oh, the backing is off. You ning nong. Right. Oh, Lachlan's cooking a steak. That smells amazing. It's just a shame I can't eat steak. Yeah. Need to slide that down. Ah. I've stuck myself. So you can see here. Just let me. You can see you've got. I'll show you. You've got your wave. Yeah. And that's Chris. Majority of the ones in New South Wales. Were started by lightning strikes. Which was pretty sad. So do we need. And I do have a very very particular lot of gems in mind okay so these are I have one very lone purple one these are Melamambo Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana so I'm thinking maybe adding some of this Melamambo because, you know, let's use them. So these are the Glimmer Enamel Dots. So, I love this. You know, I had an idea, but it's coming together better than the idea that I had. Oh, they're having tacos. Um, popping one 
sort of getting all the connection points and I'm going to create a bit of a um, bit of a triangle to sort of put your eye right here even though it is already like creating that visual triangle putting one sort of there okay now I can create a few more within that within those clusters just thinking I wouldn't mind one up there because that's still in the same cluster sorry oh no oh, I hate it when they have nightmares I think Louisa had a nightmare at like four o'clock this morning. Yes, I was still awake at four o'clock. Don't ask. Um, and yeah, it was, I'm there going, would you just be quiet so I can go to sleep? I think I'm doing well for a couple of hours sleep. I'm fairly coherent, but then that's normal anyway. Okay, one there, three, two, one, although I wouldn't mind. Hmm. Let's see if I can grab this off and just, sorry, just slide one in there. Oh, it doesn't want to slide off like I thought it would. Now let's see if it'll slide off. Just pop it out a touch more. <gasps> no, not more under, more out. Oh, pain in the behind. And I can imagine all the comments I'm going to come back to when I look up. That's perfect. Okay. I think we are done. I may have gone over the top on the sprinkles. Do you know what? I'm thinking of popping that one off. That one's actually annoying me. And I might just do three up here where it's less visually. Three, two, two. Like that. Like that. Good night, Jenny. Well, not good night. Have fun with your other man at the chemist. I'm on my live. I No, I'm fine, thank you. Try not offer me food while I'm on a live. Huh. It's lovely, but jeez. And we've got, we've got to go buy school uniforms for that said child later this afternoon as well. So oh, I'll leave these down because we have used these. So what we have used today, music from my heart stamp set. We used the pigment sprinkles. We used gorgeous grape ink. And that's pretty much all we used. We had a little bit of messy fun. And where's my aqua painter? I don't know. I think I put it away. Oh, and we used the two and a quarter inch circle punch. So thank you girls for joining me. Why are you responding incorrectly, Cindy? I haven't noticed. Thank you. I'm glad you guys liked it. And look, I saved a piece from going in the use it up box, which is even better. Even better. So, yep. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming on, Ellen. My pleasure. I do hope to be back on Thursday or Friday. Um, I am getting ready for my uh, class. I have my catalogue launch on Sunday and I'm also doing a presentation at my uplines uh, team meeting or team day on Saturday. So I do have a rather packed weekend coming up, but... 
I'll come and show you some things on video. They may even be things I'm making for launch because I have something in mind as a small gift for the people that come along. So they may be what we make um, now. Oh, well, Linda, this piece is I pre-did it. I explained how to do it, but I pre-did it. So all I did is I dropped the pigment sprinkles on the dry wisp on the dry um, shimmery white paper and I use a spray bottle to activate the pigment sprinkles. So yeah. Uh, there you go Jamie thank you very much for doing that I hope you guys have a lovely couple of days and I will see you later in the week bye